All right, yes, so welcome back to the balance diet of entertainment this morning. And I just as I'll be talking uh, before we be actually by break and before we reach this level, I'll be tell you say we will get a representative from the um, Lagos State Public Defender side right now. And right now we get um, a particular person with the inside here and she go chuck them out on top family law for inside Nigeria. Now now she be the principal state council for inside the public defender's state office for Lagos State, and we get a desoro. I, I, I correct me if I'm wrong. A desoro tossing for inside the building. Yes. I got it right. Yay! <laughs> welcome to the show. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. So now we we'll first start with family law because now one of the things really very important part for us to understand for inside Lagos State. What is it all about? Uh, well, family law comprises of various angles. Um, talk about marriage. We talk about dissolution of marriage, children, access, maintenance, custody. So it has various angles to it. Okay, so now make we even look marriage. Mm. Because if we get one informate where we go around, it went viral, and some people come and say, I can't tell that informate if they wrong, because um, it, it wasn't true, quote unquote, the longer shot of the matter. But when it comes to marriage and it comes to um, filing of divorce cases for inside marriage, for legal states, um, looking at the scenario and with the way they hear about so many people they work out for marriage, they married two months ago, they married on crash. Mm. Um, has that has it has it been increasing that now the rate rate at which people they come, they want contact say, I know they do again, I don't want marry again. Those kinds of similar stories, have they actually been on the rise for inside Lagos State based on people they work out come to the office? Well I'll say that it has been on the increase. Um, probably because now people you know, um, as against um, in those days when our fathers and mothers would say, stay on in the marriage regardless of whatever you are facing. So now, people, most people want to just, as soon as um, there's an issue, they want to get out. So, yes, it's on the increase. And one of the, one, one of the popular reasons where you they hear, where people they come outside, they give, now waiting, on top marriage um, dissolution. Dissolution, it bothers various things, Seth. It's not um, just about, um, in some cases, it could be an issue of the husband know they give money, um, we don't understand each other, um, no communication, sometimes um, denial of sexual rights, so it, various angles to it, domestic violence, so we have a lot of all right, maybe we'll talk about domestic violence because you don't mention them. A lot of people, a lot of times, when they talk about, um, when they come outside, they talk, say this, now they're waiting, now they suffer in silence for so long. By the time they come out, in some cases, it might be too late. In some cases, they feel to get help. Now, domestic violence um, around the, the wall of marriage, it, it fits to affect two sides. How will they take handle the case where the man and I actually come? tell you now because it's very rare for men to come out and say they are, they are the ones who are being violated mm. um, by their partner but in cases like that how do they take money we've actually had a few cases for our office people they come man or woman no. some men they come say my wife they beat me and so when they come like that what we do is we try to mediate so we call the other person what's in they happen and a lot of times we get results it could be probably because of one reason or the other. And, you know, when we mediate and try to settle the differences, we get results eventually. Okay, so in, in, in case of sexual abuse, mm. uh, is it possible for a case of rape to happen within the constitution of marriage? Well, in Nigeria, rape within marriage is not... Um, is not um, it doesn't... The law does not recognize it, should I say that rape within marriage. It is presumed that when you are married, you have given the man rights. But even at that, you know, um, those sort of issues, sexual violence within marriage, could be one of the reasons a woman can eventually file for divorce if she, if she now decides to take that step. Mm. So Now, in situation of child marriages, before I even um, give, ask the question about child marriage, you wait out there, feel free to send in your questions. Um, concerning marriage law, um, the marriage, marriage law, if I'm, if I'm family Ma law, family. I beg your pardon, family law, if I'm, if I'm correct. And any other thing we're concerned, you feel say, um, right now we're free to handle them, but you don't need to put your name or your location because we know say this particular topic is a very sensitive topic. We'll talk also about child marriage because we know, say, for inside Nigeria, 
a lot of children, they actually carry them. They arrange them for their betrothed or betrothed according to um, some traditions. And this one, they make a lot of children. Then they force them into marriages where they never even prepare for, where they know even they're ready for. And this one, they cause frustration. And um, because of that frustration, a lot of these young children fit to decide to either kill themselves or even kill their partner as mm. a particular case, they inside court, mm. for most of us they're familiar with. Mm. Tell us about this child marriage and the law where they against or where they even support child marriage in Lagos State. Well, even the Marriage Act does not support child marriage. So at what under, age? Under, well, from the age of 18 and above. So if you're under 18, it is not right. We have had a few cases in our office where people um, have come to reports that um, um, their father wants to give them out in marriage on their age children. And then based on our intervention, we've been able to resolve that. So the Child Rights Law, the Marriage Act, various laws does not support child marriage. But you know, where, where some people they come from, in Nigeria here, in their own cultural background or where they are from, it's a law, it's allowed, let's put it that way. Say they're allowed for a man, a full grown man, to actually pick a little child under the age of 18 to actually marry. And in that particular situation where now their own law now they follow, not a law like this where they have where, where, where they work for inside legal state. How on they take um, manage to convince the husband to be from if that particular family and the girl, you know, on take that case up and that girl escaped being married to that man. The man goes to go find another person. We we'll actually agree to in terms. Mm. So in that kind of case, how will Nagofi handle the man to make to prevent him from actually turning another young girl into a bride, an adult bride, before her time? Uh, well, um, custom or not, um, the law does not support it. And what the law does not support, whether the man like him or you know like him, or if you take picking where they on their age, what we usually do is we try to prosecute. So in that case, you will find out that the man will back down and say no. And then some, we enlighten people. We go out on a lot of enlightenment campaign, telling them the right and the wrong. So regardless of your custom, this law, the, the law prohibits such union. And so based on the fact that you know, enlightenment cam campaign awareness and all of that, all of that is on the um, decrease now. Let's look at domestic abuse in, um, in family law, under the family law, mm. um, because we know, say, a lot of times when we look at the family, some people, they, they abuse them, whether they, they be domestic staff mm. or whether they're even picking themselves or whether they're even the wife or the husband. They're usually, they hear stories of one form of abuse or the other. And we know of some scenarios, we don't see videos of scenarios where when a small picking where should have been a help in the house, mm. where did they actually abuse. In that kind of situation, how now they could take handle and because by the time you ask the PK, the PK if you talk, say, it don't get anybody to go stay with. Um, even at that, what, when the child does not have anyone to stay with, we usually intervene. We are able to most times put them in homes. We work with various other governmental agencies, such as the Women and Poverty Alleviations um, Ministry. So we have homes for those children. We put them there and then we try to find their... Um, should I say next um, friend, in, that's in law, usually a guardian, a brother to their parents, if their parents are late, or their parents themselves. A lot of times these children, they come to Lagos believing, say, I they go to school. Uh, my auntie won't put me for school. And then, you know, they come here and then find out that the story has changed. So what we usually do is, where there's a ch case of abuse, we try to locate the parents of the child or the guardian where the parents are dead or you know, not um, able to come to take um, uh, the child away from that situation. But in the meantime, we put them in homes and then of course we now prosecute, we, we, we liaise with the um, com um, office of the, um, the Directorate of Public Prosecutions and then prosecute such abusers. Mm. And then um, how, how this abuser will stop or go they they go stop them from getting another child in the future to abuse. Because a lot of times, when the case don't reach in a hand and I don't settle them, everybody don't go their separate ways. There's still a high chance. Say that person will do that badness. If he's still just walk far, maybe relocate from that street, go 10 streets away and commit that same offense. So how do they take do to manage say that kind of thing not happen again? A, a lot of times, you find out that these people who abuse these children, um, 
should I say that it is because they are not aware that they can actually be prosecuted. So you find out that when we bring up cases against them, and most times we don't settle, as it were, as, uh, as you put it, such cases until we get results. We enlighten them, you know, in, in cases where we feel that, okay, prob probably this um, step is the best way to resolve the issue. We may take it, but then we prosecute to the end to ensure that the child gets justice. Mm. All right, looking at um, a form of um, abuse, and this one is sexual abuse, mm. where if it will happen between either mama and son, or papa and son, or papa and daughter. And a lot of times, you go see, say, family members, they go tell you, say, they don't want to make anybody choke mat on top. Mm. They say, I don't want to go court. Mm. I don't want to make a choke on mat. <laughs> now my family, now my picky, now me born, now more than liver for me. Mm. I don't want to make nobody know about this kind of bad thing will happen. How will they take handle that kind of case? Even at that, we prosecute. We prosecute. We, 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 don't, we don't prosecute. Regardless of your relationship with a child, you are not permitted to abuse a child, sexually or otherwise. So whether you are the father, the mother, or the child, you know, our own office, what we they do, we say we they defend. But when we have such cases, we liaise with the Directorate of Public Prosecutions, and then we ensure that those offenders, the, 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 the perpetrators of, of such sexual violence, are prosecuted. So up till the end, we, we, we follow through. In some cases, we stand, we hold watching brief on behalf of the child so, to ensure that the, uh, the perpetrators are actually brought to book. Now, um, in situations where, okay, when I don't make sure say that particular person will cause this badness, mm. when I make sure say the person answer a question. Mm. Some people have, have very valid reasons of say, that picking, I they try to protect the picking. Because if this information reach outside, that picking they go stigmatize them. Mm. That picking they go talk say, you need to go cleanse in head. Mm. You need to go wash in head for inside water mm. before anybody go come near them. Mm. And if this kind of thing, if you come outside, this picking no go feel even sit down with your mates, they play. Mm. Even though we know say the picking no even know what happened to them. Mm. But when the picking they grow, it go they affect them psychologically. And this is now why we don't want to make certain people intervene. How what in the law they talk and how now they take handle stigmatization of these young children who have been abused? First and foremost, um, the law does not permit such publication. So it doesn't, we don't even publicize and then say, or we, in cases where you mention the cases, you are not permitted to mention the name of the child or the age or anything that would immediately draw people's attention or give people um, a knowledge of who that person is, who that child is. So in such cases, where we have such cases, we try to, as much as possible, remove that child from that environment. So that at the end of the day, you don't go be say when the child come out, people go, they talk, they stigmatize them and all of that. So we try to remove the child from the environment and then prosecute, um, follow up with prosecution of the offender. What of the society where they actually cause the stigmatization? Anything, any plan they in place, to let to sensitize the public in terms of stigmatization of these young innocent children where not be them they actually come outside cause this kind of thing on top of themselves and uh, um, the office of the public defender we do a lot of campaign awareness which is always ongoing we we go we visit markets we visit public places um, schools um, the markets we go out on the streets we we are constantly enlightening and educating people because you find out that most people, the lack of knowledge, as they say, you know, deprives them of what is right and what is wrong. So a lot of times we do public awareness programs, we visit markets, schools and what have you to enlighten people and tell them that this is right, this is wrong. So that's, um, you know, to stem such um, cases. Very good, beautiful. Now, in addition to this family law, tell us other aspects we want to focus on and how will it benefit the residents of Lagos State? Yes, we, we have a lot of cases on maintenance, child maintenance. Uh -huh. Child maintenance. Um, 
um, a lot of times people come to our office, they go say, ah, this uh, my husband, you know, they pay money on top of these children. We just they stay oh, together. Oh, what people they call child support? Yes, you know, oh. they pay money. You know, they give the children, picking their money for school and all of that. So, in so, when we have such cases, we call the husband. We mediate. We try to see if we can settle the matter amicably first before we go go court. Make it you not know, be say they just hear the woman just carry the case go court. So when they come to our office, we mediate. We we, we sit down, talk. How much you want they pay? The man go uh, now five naira. I get the woman go say no rich. You know we try to find the middle ground between the two of them for concerning the education, what you go pay and all of that. And then when we eventually get them to agree, they sign settlements agreements. But where that fails, we take the case to court and then we follow through and ensure that the man actually makes commitments towards the care of the um, children. That's one. And then sometimes we have cases of custody and access. The man, um, the, the woman may say, in fact, we, sometimes we have men who come to the office and say, ah, this woman, no, they allow me to see my Pekin demo. We call the woman, what is happening? And then we are able to usually resolve through mediation, and then cancelling them. This is the person's right. That's the other person's right. You can't deprive each other of the care of these children. So we have a lot of cases on maintenance, custody, access, and, um, and um, such cases. And then, of course, we handle divorce cases as well. The, the woman comes to our office. We have men, too, who come and say that um, this marriage I'm tired of the marriage. So on their behalf, we they file matter for courts, you know, and then um, to dissolve the marriage based on whatever reason they give us. So we have a lot of such cases as well. And all these cases are free of charge? Free of charge. Free of charge for anybody with a state for inside legal state. Yes. Wow, such a beautiful work that they do. Um, we wish you now the very best. And we know so we'll see you again by this time next week for Inside the Studio. Mm -hmm. And to everybody where they're out there, if you live for Inside Lagos State, as long as you live for Lagos State, that one means that these people, they are at your disposal. Or how will you get any issue where they related to the law for Inside Lagos State? And it concerns your family, it concerns your neighbor. Because now for Inside Nigeria, we know say a lot of people, a lot of viral videos where they see in a neighbor they actually report them to the nearest police. And in addition to the police, this, the Office of the Public Defender for Inside Lagos, they they here to support, to defend, and to prosecute any case where they go against the law of Lagos State. Thank you so much. Um, you get the phone number to give out concerning anybody yes, who wants to reach um, out to you? Presently, Please. we'll have it scrolled across on, on the, the screen. screen. All right. So the phone number will be for there. But if you to work on top of Google and just Google the, um, the pop office of the Public Defender for Lagos State and all the information you need will actually be for there for you. Thank you so much, Mrs. Adesoro Tosin, yes. where we're the um, Principal State Council for inside the Office of the Public Defender for Lagos Thank State. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. To enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.